Hello, my viewers and my subscribers. I thank you so much for tuning into this quick video. I'm going to try my best to be quick. I just got in. Um, so I want to talk about this question that I often see floating in the dialysis technician and staff groups. All right. So this question is usually posted by a technician and they want to know, is it OK to help clean up a patient that has had a bowel movement? Um, while they are running treatment. Okay, so during treatment, this patient, he, I mean, he or she could be stretcher bound. They could be from the nursing home and then they soil their diaper and then there's a stench and, you know, what is, you know, what are the options? Well, I want to tell you that it's very important to revert back to your job description. You really have to follow your job description. I know this could be offensive to some people, but I'm telling you why, because many people that I have worked with, they are strong on suing. Okay. And the thing is you have to cover yourself at all times. If you ask your clinical manager, can I change such and such in the bathroom? Meaning, can I bring the whole chair into the bathroom? push the patient to the side, change their diaper and all of that. And the manager gives you the okay. You really need to get that in writing. Okay. Because it's you, you really do. Okay. I have seen, you know, well, really I heard of some cases regarding patient lawsuits. Okay. I'm in the judgment recovery business and usually I'm looking for cases. I read on cases a lot. Okay. And this is what can happen if you are doing something that extreme without, you know, without it being in your job description. OK, you're working outside your job description to help a patient, which don't get me wrong. We all want to help our patients, but you have to cover your behind. So back to what I was saying, if you're working outside of your job description, and the patient wants to sue you. Let's just say you took the whole chair into the restroom. You helped the patient, but somehow they slipped while they were in the bathroom. I meant the restroom. Okay. And so now they want to sue. Okay. So what it all boils down to in the lawsuit is even if the patient was to sue the clinic and to sue you, both names being on the lawsuit, what the judge would determine is if did this person were was that a part of their job description and if it wasn't and you know your also your clinical manager did not okay it like you know give you anything in writing that hey you can do blah 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 right well what's going to happen is the clinic's name is going to now be off the lawsuit and now the lawsuit will be targeting you okay so They'll be excused out of the lawsuit. And now the lawsuit is targeting you. And so I want to encourage you to please go by your job description. Sometimes I may step a little bit out of my job description to help the patient. Like if there's water on the floor, I'm getting a mop and I'm mopping that up because I don't want nobody to fall. Okay. But in terms of bringing a patient to the restroom to change them or whatever, a lot of infection control comes into play. Are you going to use that same gown that you're, you're working with other patients in? You know, you're putting off patients, you're putting them on, you're monitoring them, you, you have that gown, and then you're going into the restroom to help this patient who has the accident in that same gown. Um, how many times are you changing your gloves? You know, it's a lot of infection control regarding that. Okay. Um, so that's why it's very important. See if, if that patient keeps coming into your unit and they have, you know, during treatment, they keep having accidents. See if they can get a free healthcare assistant. Okay. Talk to the social worker, talk to the clinical manager. OK, work as a team to try to get this patient, someone that can help them um, after they have an accident, you know, while they're on treatment, you know. And I know that I have never had to 
clean a patient to that degree. Well, let me just say assist a patient to that degree because the units that I worked in already had a protocol in place. Okay. So listen, I'm telling you now, it's very important to cover your behind, cover yourself. Okay. Sorry. And if your clinical manager gives you the okay to drag the whole chair into the restroom and to clean the patient and, and do all of this stuff for the patient, you better get that in writing for sure to make sure you are covered at all costs. Okay. Please, 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 please think about what I'm saying. We all have the heart to help the patient. Okay. But it's very important to cover yourself cover yourself from lawsuits. All right. So if you are not a part of my dialysis groups, I'm going to put the links in the description tab. Also check out dialysis technicians worldwide dot blog spot and you have a blessed day.